Hello, everybody. Dave Neal here, stand-up comic, host of Bachelor Nation News. That's right. It's off the clock, Dave. I thought we were done for the day. I was on to my afternoon coffee, this venti of love here. I got the croquis on, or croquis, whatever they're called. Ready to go outside having a tan. And then we see that Cassidy posts a tirade uh, about uh, Kayla's snake gate. Now, of course, Cassidy, not one to mince her words here. Uh, cold-blooded, some may say. No, we love Cassidy. We love Cassidy. She was, uh, I, I think, improperly coined a, a villain until Sinead was like, you know, I'll hold my mimosa. And now Cassidy's speaking out about the wild Instagram story that Kayla, did I say Kayla before? That Kayla posted where... She says, animal lovers, do not watch my next story. This is your warning. And then she posts this Instagram video of kind of telling this guy she hired to cut the snake's head off. Of course, it was a garden garter, sta- garter snake, which is uh, only mildly toxic, would not kill a dog, might just make it a little bit sick if bitten, but chances are the snake would just run away uh, or slither away. Either way, Slytherin uh, might be the uh, house that Kayla lives in. I'm not really too sure. Um, I got that big Hufflepuff energy. But either way, I'm going to play for you guys what... Cassidy had to say about this, probably the first person in Bachelor Nation to comment on it. And as you guys know, we've been scraping barrels for weeks now. We don't have another episode of the show out until, uh, I believe, July 11th, 2022. Feels like about five years away. But I unearthed this 23andMe of my great-great-grandfather here, barrel scraping in the year of 1823. So I'm going to show you guys, actually, this is what I do on my Patreon. My private membership-only community will we'll design the different thumbnails. We'll talk about what content we're making. If you like uh, to see the behind the scenes, go to patreon.com slash Dave Neal. Now, here's a 10, here's a 15 second time clip of me designing this stupid, stupid image here. But this is what I do on Patreon, as you can see my little image there, and you can kind of hear and watch me kind of talk through how I'm making the content. So there it is, Barrel Scraper Dave. We put a crown on the guy, plopped it right in. Kind of, I mean, when you do it in fast motion, it looks pretty nice. It's not like we wasted 44 minutes of our life, and you guys can just watch it in 15 seconds. Okay, so here's Cassidy. Here's what she has to say. So her first clip is a still image that says, I'll never not be critical of the completely out of touch, exorbitantly wealthy, well, I don't, I don't, is she that rich? Doing out of pocket, completely insensitive stuff and thinking they can sweep it under the rug. That's a flipping promise is what she says. And then she goes on a rant there. And then she says she got blocked by Kayla Quinn. So my issue with the whole thing is like threefold. Right. Basically. Oh, you love it when a white woman has a threefold issue. Uh, have I heard this before? I've got a five part series of how I'm offended. No, I'm just kidding. We love you. First of all, she hired a third party service to do this home renovation. Then she tasked one of the employees with this execution of this harmless animal. Truth. And like tossed scissors at him. She did. She threw scissors at the guy. Could have poked an eye out. Like... She didn't want to get closer than nine feet to him. By the way, I feel like saying poked an eye out goes up drastically when you have a toddler. I feel like when you don't have kids, you don't mention poking your eye out. But the second you have a kid, every little thing looks like you could poke someone's eye out. This straw could poke an eye out. What is this thing? A wand? Jeez. You know, what got going on here? Or the snake. But based on some of her previous activity and previous statements, either could be assumed, I think, with equal plausibility. Um, oh, legal terms. Secondarily. Secondarily. The animal's harmless. Truth. And then she posted this like photo afterward that was like, will this city girl ever get used to the wildlife or whatever? And it's like, I don't know, but are you going to continue to murder everything you come across until you do? That's a good point. That's a lot. That's a lot. That's a very sound point. And the third and final issue that I take with the whole thing. The third and final issue, everyone. Cassidy's. By the way, I could I could live for a podcast called called Three Parts, and it's Cassidy just giving you the first, secondarily, and the third part. I love it. She, you you know, she lives in Hollywood because she's got her three act play down pat. The thing is that, in response to the criticism that she's getting from fans and you know everyone on the internet, is that she's just deleting and blocking everyone who has anything to say. And to me, that's a very, very typical like people with status and wealth response is that if they can just silence people enough that that everyone will forget what 
is happening and what's we got like i could tell you could tell cassidy's been watching a little too much bridgerton lately <laughs> no no i mean she's talking about socioeconomic issues here the fact that she can silence others and it's like hey you're gonna enjoy this slop i put out anyway but the truth is she's got a point that you know kayla's got 400 plus thousand people she's not gonna be unfollowed like a brendan moraeus it's a friday afternoon she might lose a thousand she might lose 200 i don't know i didn't follow her in the first place what's going on and um i think that's a shit way out of everything if i'm being honest wow. and i think it really Please. demonstrates her wealth and this isn't even touching on the other stuff that she's done that's problematic and weird um <laughs> just this incident alone so that's my issue with the with the situation that i'm referencing and um that's how i feel about by the way, cassidy your greenish colored shirt goes very well with your eyes she's got a nice filter happening here this is the freckled filter i don't know i don't know too much about how the ladies do their filters but this is a good one save this one or maybe there is no filter there's no it doesn't say there's a filter there's a filter right anyway i don't know how it works about it and i don't have any intention of letting this stuff go so all right no intention of letting stuff go then she posts bachelor whatever responding to hers with some hearts Wear it like a badge of honor, truly. The fact that you got blocked by Kayla Quinn. You're part of the Blocked Club. And then Bachelor Reality says, got blocked by Kayla Quinn. So, all right, well, there it is. If you haven't been blocked by Kayla, have you even made it? I don't think I've been blocked by Kayla. Maybe I'm not doing it right. I don't know how it works. Either way, um, you know, look, uh, we always talk about providing people grace to grow and learn, but when you're blocking people, you're not really getting that. Now, I'm not the type to, like, lead a campaign, like, unfollow so-and-so until they, you know, until they apologize. Like, first of all, if she does apologize, <laughs> here's my three-part response to Cassidy's three-part response to uh, the snake gate. Um, if she if she doesn't if she does apologize it's just going to be to leverage or to, to hemorrhage or stop losing followers and look i mean i'm not you know people said they were reaching out to her employers it's like look we need and again i'm not saying it's right by any means and people are allowed to be outraged we just need to stop putting influencers on a pedestal in the first place and we won't be offended when when they're just like normal piece of crap humans like most of us. Now I'm not saying most of us would do what she did. I think it's grotesque. I had a hard time watching it. You know, I'm like, geez, you know? And look, I live in Southern California, but I'm from I'm from an area where we don't see snakes. I'm from a little fishing town in Rhode Island. There's I mean, I'm sure there are snakes, but I, I didn't grow up knowing any snakes. We had a couple of rabbits and some, you know, raccoons that lived in the sewage drains. That's New England for you, baby. But now that I live in LA, I mean, we go hiking and you walk by snakes, I kid you not, that are three feet long. Sometimes I feel like Trump, we see the biggest snakes. We have the best snakes you've ever seen. You've never seen snakes as big as the ones we have. But we have rattlesnakes. And you know when you see a rattlesnake, you know, it's got the whole, you know, vibrate or the sex toy thing. It's got the whole thing happening right there. You can hear a rattlesnake. You know when it's a rattlesnake. Uh, we had a garter snake, kind of like the same one. It comes in different, you know, there's obviously a, a bunch of different uh, 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 species to the garter snake. Apparently, from what I've learned, there's multiple, uh, I don't know, brands. What would you call these? You know what I mean? And um, I remember we were on a, on a hike and there was a huge one basking in the sun just hanging out and we had to kind of like google it is this snake harmful and it was like nah these snakes aren't harmful at all you know they're actually you know and then you throw a couple branches in its direction and it slithers off and then you walk by that's just how it works you know so the amount of time and this this is why i think where people are so outraged is that the amount of effort that went into um Making an Instagram story. Let's go back to the image here. Kayla's Instagram story. This is hers on the left. The amount of time she got the Instagram story going and got the scissors. She could have spent that time Googling to snakes and realized there was nothing wrong with it at all. Throw it on the other side of the fence. So, and you know, just another instance where the clout went in, went in the direction of like, some odd, you know, look at me, you know, whatever. Does she have wealth and all that? I have no idea. I have no idea what her finances are, but clearly there's something going on wrong there. This, uh, you know, if we're going to share one, we have to share the other. This video was circulated, you know, when, when, um, when someone kind of, when their morals become suspect, of course, then the bachelor nation will look into things. And this was a clip of Kayla, you know, doing something completely different, but shaming the smell of her Uber driver, which itself reeks of entitlement. People, Kayla hates smelly people. <laughs> like, true. With, with a pet. So, I won't say it. She's afraid to share it. You can say it. She'll be in a taxi or an Uber and the driver will smell and she will tell him that you need to have deodorant. You need to have degree deodorant. That's amazing. Yikes. All right, well, 
Yeah, and look, I drove Uber for a couple of years, and it's a tough gig. You barely make any money. You barely do. And it's you're sitting in your car all day, and sometimes you have the AC on, sometimes you don't. Sometimes you're sitting in a hot parking lot waiting for your next ride. It is a soul sucking job to think of anybody, you know, people in the comment section said, you know, obviously this, uh, you know, to think, to think of your father or whoever it is driving for Uber and having someone in the back being like, you know, if I tip you, will you smell less? It's just like, yikes, 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 yikes. Let me know what you guys think. We, I, I personally am not here to pile on. It's just interesting to see who of bachelor nation decides to get in the ring and get in the mix versus who doesn't. This isn't one of those issues where, you know, if you don't respond, if, if Becca Kufrin doesn't give her statement about Kayla, it's like, look, Kayla dug herself in this hole. She posted an ins- she posted a story. This is her doing. If people want to share their opinions of it, have at it. If they don't, I understand. I mean, whatever, you know, it's, uh, I'm sure she's going to learn her lesson regardless. Or maybe she won't. Leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think. Look, unless there's any more breaking news, I, I texted Cassidy to this. You, you got to drop your, your dramatic Instagram stories in the morning. Give me a chance to go enjoy some of the sun. I got to go do some gardening, play with a few of our snakes. Not a metaphor. And then that's going to be it from me. Patreon.com slash Dave Neal. New stand-up on the Dave Neal stand-up channel and also Dave Neal show. We'll see you guys later on. Bye, everybody.